So what's going on guys? My name is Violent. Welcome to Grizz Zombies. Have you pre-ordered Call of Duty World War 2? It's a good question, right? We're going to be taking a look at quite a few things, how you could pre-download this private beta right now. I should say welcome to update 1.02. This is the version you can check under your update history. You'll see that this is the first version of Call of Duty World War 2. And welcome to the official patch notes. I'm your patch notes guy. But if you guys are new around here and you like the material, drop a like on the video and be sure to subscribe. Comment down below, let me know that you're new, and I'll welcome you to the channel. Since this is the first Patch Notes video, what I want to kind of go over throughout the remainder of this video is the Create a Class system. There's going to be a lot involved in it. Right now, we're going to take our first look when we load the game of Call of Duty World War II, the private beta, and see what happens. It says, join the fight. Push X to begin that. Now before we get into the create a class talk, we're going to actually talk about the pre-download because if you pre-download it already, you should have access to this beta. Not playable beta, but to download it, to pre-download it because on the 25th is when it goes live on PlayStation 4, which is this coming Friday. So let's have a quick talk about pre-orders, my thoughts on previous games that I've played of zombies that I've pre-ordered and what hasn't worked and what has worked. So. I pre-ordered the digital version, just the base version of the game, which I always recommend you guys do. When you do that, you will not have many issues with the launch and DLC dates if you buy the Season Pass as a separate download. Always get the Season Pass as a separate download because what you're going to run into is once it releases at midnight or whenever the DLC releases, you're going to be stuck if you got the digital deluxe version. For some reason, in the past, their times have been off, so you were not able to get access to the map early or pre-download at the same time as us separate downloads of the Season Pass did. So I recommend that's what you do. You get the Season Pass later, get the game right now, or any time before launch. It's just if you want to play the beta, you're going to want to get that right now because there is some exclusive gear for just participating in this beta. If you didn't already know, there's going to be a helmet, a beta helmet, a calling card, and an emblem that's going to come with the combat pack. That's what's going to be introduced here when you start the launch of the game in November. If you didn't already read it on screen, the servers will be live from 10 a.m. Pacific time to on August 25th to 10 a.m. Pacific time on August 28th. That's for PlayStation 4. As I've stated in previous videos, Weekend 2 with Xbox One will be September 1st through September 4th. PC dates are still pending, coming at a later date, so I'll announce that once it's available, but Right now we're focused on PlayStation moving into the Xbox beta, but what I find really interesting is when you look at how much time is left before it's actually playable, the full game, you'll see an auto download date of October 31st. On Halloween, everyone will be able to download this, which is a few days before the actual launch when you actually look at the dates. But October 31st on Halloween is when we'll be able to download the actual game of Call of Duty World War II. I just wanted to update you guys on that in case you were curious. So I think we've talked long enough about the pre-download. We're going to move into the details right now of what we're going to see in the actual beta itself. So there's going to be divisions. There's going to be score streaks. You're going to have your profile. However, some things that won't be in the beta is going to be the social tab. Now there's going to be a set of tabs going to go across the top from news to find match to your soldier where everything will be customizable the social area which will be your social space the store and your settings now I do have a little graphic for you guys to look at while I explain this a little bit further I just customized it a little bit in Photoshop there's gonna be an airborne division there's gonna be an infantry division a mountain division expeditionary division and an armored division you're gonna have a primary a secondary slot a lethal tactical slot and your basic training slot which is going to be your perks so basic training is going to work a lot like the perk system that we've seen before and so far after all the information that I've collected this appears to be the most accurate description of what the create a class system is going to look like now each one of your weapon sets or your create a class will be universal between all the divisions now depending on what division you have it will have certain standards that it has to meet one of them has a silencer you can attach to your weapon in other divisions it won't, but your create a class will still remain the same throughout each division. You'll be leveling them up as though they're different types of characters or specialists as we know them in other games. The footage you're seeing is of the new trailer with headquarters. This displays a very wide range of things that we will be seeing in the headquarters, but this is not going to be in the beta. 
I did want to showcase this because it is new footage that we're just seeing for the first time. From what I'm told and the videos that I've seen myself, it seems that the ranking system will be the 20 levels to start out. And they will increase it as the beta moves along. PS4, as you know, will get a second shot at ranking up their character. You will get to keep your character in the second iteration of the beta, if you guys were curious. And you can continue ranking it up when the servers go live again for Xbox. What I do find really cool is that a lot of things that were taken from an Activision title you guys may know as Destiny have been implemented into Call of Duty World War II. Now, Activision does own the rights and the titles of Destiny 2 and Call of Duty, so to see things being taken from the success of other games and implemented into other franchises, we can consider normal. We don't have to consider it weird or stealing. It's the same company that owns both, so they're just trying to marry the two and make them good for each category that they fit in. Call of Duty has to play a certain way. So we're seeing the menu system for Call of Duty World War II, and it appears to have somewhat of the same format that Destiny has, with slight differences. Of course, there's not world landscapes that change between menus when you're going to search for Crucible, and when we're going to find a match for Team Deathmatch or Domination. It's a little bit different. In Call of Duty, it's way more basic, and I feel like that's the way it should be. This is war. I do think that the path that Sledgehammer's taken on this title is very, very good, and the timing is perfect for where Call of Duty needs to be. It's very important to note that because we've been taking the future route for the last three titles and finally we're going back to the Call of Duty roots that we've always known and loved. And that's part of the point of why I'm going to be uploading beta footage as well to you guys here on the Zombies channel. It's due in part that this beta is for all of us and Headquarters is going to be trying to marry the two together with their own social space. So all Zombies players will be welcome to Headquarters just as much as the multiplayer guys. So. I think it's important that uh, we all give it a shot, we all try it out, and if we like it, then it's important as the Zombies community, we let Sledgehammer know that we appreciated the steps that they took to make the community more whole and better. Now I don't worry as much for Treyarch, coming into 2018 they're going to have their launch after this game, and we're in for two really great years of Zombies, and I think the social space is something that's going to remain true. I mean, they're not going to put all this work into us finally having a social space and then not continue it. This is definitely something that's going to be continuing into the future and I think it's great for bringing the community more together instead of separate. We shouldn't hate each other. In fact, we should embrace multiplayer just as much as we do for zombies. One day, I really hope that we do have a zombies PvP mode that we can introduce into the menu system of multiplayer and that would be Grief 2.0. As you guys know, I've been pushing for that and I think one day we'll get there. So I hope you guys could take something away from this video and everyone that's new to the channel, welcome. I appreciate you guys being here. We just hit 14,000 subscribers and we're continuing to climb along that journey. So be sure to drop a like in this video if you guys did learn something and stay tuned. Tons of World War II yet to come and the beta is slowly but surely approaching. Let me know if you guys are going to take part in this beta. Hope to see you out in the battlefield. So drink some water. Don't worry. We're going to be going right back to zombies after this beta gets over and we've analyzed it. We might use some of the footage for examples moving forward. But just know this is a zombies channel and we will be covering the World War II beta. It is something that we all should enjoy. I'll see you guys out there. Violent out.